Hey everyone, today I want to show you a secret pathway inside the world of modes or chord scales. I learned this secret pathway from the great jazz vibraphonist, Mr. Gary Burton. And if you're watching this video on my website, www.musicmadebetter.com, there's also a PDF under the video that I'm going to attach that you can download for free. And while I'm at it, if you really want to learn a lot about chord scales and what scales go with which chords, you can go to the website and check out my in-depth introduction to chord scales video course. I'll leave the link in the description below. Typically, when we think about chord scales, we think of them in a certain order. One goes after another. And here is the order in which we usually think about chord scales or modes. Ionian. Dorian. Phrygian. Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. So this is all fine, because indeed, modes do emerge in this order, from within the major scale. But, since modes or chord scales are also colors that we use to paint our pictures and our solo, just like regular colors, these chord scale musical colors also emerge on a continuum from bright to dark. That's right, there is a path inside these chord scales and their order that organizes them from bright to dark. And that's very useful to know because again, if chord scales or modes are the colors with which you paint your solo, then you want to know which colors are bright and which colors are darker and darker and darker or brighter and brighter. And there's a pathway inside how chord scales are sequenced one after another through which you can learn which of these quote unquote colors is bright and then darker, 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 and so on. And here it is. Let's look at the Ionian scale, the regular major scale. Please pay attention to the level of brightness of this scale. Right? It's bright. It's a major sound. It's a bright color. Bright. Now, Instead of going up a step to the Dorian, we're gonna go up a fifth. So first one was this, Ionian, C Ionian. Now, the next darker shade is going to be up a fifth from there. And that's what? That's the Mixolydian mode, right? It's almost like Ionian, but with a flat seven which makes the mode a little bit darker. Here's Ionian. Here's Mixolydian, a fifth up. But I'm going to play it from C, just so we can compare the colors. You see how it's very bright still, but a little darker than the Ionian. Right, a little darker. The next one is, again, a fifth up. So if the first mode is built on the first degree, the Mixolydian next mode was built on a fifth degree. What's a fifth above there? D, right? The Dorian is built from D to D. So let's play Dorian from C, because I want to play all the modes from C, but I'm just telling you how to arrive at them. And again, if you want to learn more about how to arrive at modes, go check out my website, www.musicmadebetter.com and check out the introduction to chord scales video course. But again, a fifth above Mixolydian is Dorian, right? Ionian from here, Mixolydian from here, Dorian from here. So let me play all three of them from C and you'll see how it gets darker and darker and darker. So the bright one is this, Ionian. A little darker is Mixolydian, a fifth above, right? And the next shade darker is Dorian. You see 
how it gradually gets darker and darker. Again, Aeonian. Then a mode that you build a fifth above that, which is Mixolydian, a little darker. Then a mode that you build a fifth above that, which is Dorian, which is a little darker still. You see that the secret pathway is the fifth up, fifth up, fifth up, fifth up. If you go like this, you get a darker shade and a darker shade and a darker shade and darker shade. It's a general gradual progression from light to dark of the modes. So let's do it again. Ionian from C. Mixolydian from C, a little darker. Dorian from C, a little darker. Aeolian from C, even darker than Dorian. Right. Here's the Dorian sound. Here's the Aeolian sound, which is like built a fifth above Dorian. The flat six. You see how it's just a little darker than the previous one. Okay, so we have Aeonian, built from the first degree of the scale. Then we have Mixolydian, built from the fifth degree of the scale, which is a little darker. It's a fifth above Ionian. Then we have Dorian, which is a fifth above Mixolydian, right? It's built from the second degree of the scale, and that's a little darker than Mixolydian. Then we have Aeolian, which is a fifth above. It's built on the sixth degree of the scale, and that's a little darker than Dorian. You see how they get from lighter to dark? Ionian, Mixolydian. Dorian, Aeolian, see how they get darker and darker, each. So what's the next one? Ionian, Mixolydian, second degree, Dorian, Aeolian. The next one is from the third degree. Which mode is on the third degree of the scale? Phrygian, right, so I'm gonna play Phrygian from C. See how it's even a little darker than the previous one? This was Aeolian, and here's Phrygian. It's the same thing, but just with that flat too. Aeolian, Phrygian. Darker. Okay, so what do we have from the beginning? Ionian, Mixolydian, it's a little darker. Dorian, that's a little darker. Aeolian, that's even darker still. Phrygian, that's even darker. And from Phrygian, if Phrygian is built on the third degree of the scale, right? A fifth above that is seventh degree of the scale. And which mode is built on the seventh degree of the scale? Locrian. And that one is even darker. I'm going to play Locrian from C. The Phrygian was this, pretty dark. Locrian is even darker. Ooh. You see what I mean? If you put the chord scales or modes in order a fifth apart from each other, you get this palette of colors that's built from lighter to darker. Okay, so there's one missing, and this is kind of a little bit of a catch here. So we go fifth up, fifth up, fifth up, fifth up. We got to Locrian, and the fifth up, that's kind of a flat fifth because we have to stay diatonic to C major. We arrive at the fourth degree of the scale. And what is the mode or chord scale that's built from the fourth degree of the scale? That's Lydian, which is actually the brightest one. Yes, it's even brighter than Ionian. So here is C Lydian. See, Ionian was this. And C Lydian is this. See how this is Ionian? pretty bright. And here's Lydian. It's even brighter. You 
So you see the secret pathway? The secret pathway is structuring the order of the chord scales or modes a fifth apart, not a step apart like Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian. No, 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 no. Fifths apart. So Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian, Locrian. And then the kicker is actually Lydian, which is the brightest one. <laughs> and now, of course, in order to demonstrate, I played all of these modes from the key of C, right? To just show you the colors. But how you find them is, of course, inside the Ionian C major scale, for example, or any major scale. And again, if you want to learn how to build each of the modes, check out my Introduction to Chord Scales video course on www.musicmadebetter.com. And I'll leave the link in the description below. So again, see why this is useful? It's useful because modes and chord scales are colors. If you're going to paint with these colors, you want to have an idea which color is bright, which color is a little brighter, which color is a little darker, and then which color is the darkest, and which color is not quite the darkest, but still pretty dark. Do you see what I'm saying? You want to know the order in which they appear, where you could see this gradual darkening of the modes. And the order in which they appear to show you that is fifth apart, fifth apart, fifth apart, fifth apart. From Ionian to Mixolydian, there's a fifth, right? And there's one shade darker. From Mixolydian to Dorian, there's also a fifth. And that's one shade darker. From Dorian to Aeolian, there's a fifth. And that's one shade darker still, and so on and so forth. So I thought that's a really neat way of looking at modes instead of just looking at them in the order that they appear from within the major scale, which is how people usually look at them. I thought this was a really nifty sort of way of looking at modes that shows us a gradual palette of darkening or brightening. I hope you found this tip helpful. I'm going to include a free PDF where I write all of these modes out in the order of darker and darker and darker. And if you want that PDF, go watch this video on my website, www.musicmadebetter.com, absolutely for free. And when you're on the website, you're going to be able to download the PDF right from underneath the video. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.